How do you tell a story? This is a uh, tricky question. One that I struggle with a lot. So I haven't put out a video in two weeks because I'm shooting all these kind of random clips and don't know how to really tie them all together. For example, there's this time that I went to Walnut Creek, California to preview a home with my wife, Jamie. And then we went to this restaurant, had a bunch of seafood. It's also this time that I thought I would make a video about what it's like to come along with me on a real estate photography shoot. I shot this one little time lapse and uh, wasn't that interesting. And there's today. I have the day off. I can shoot anything I want. Instead, I'm here talking to the camera, drinking some protein shake thing. And I don't know, that's, I don't think that's interesting. Um, I don't know, maybe I should fly the drone? So after that drone clip, I proceeded to try to fly the drone indoors, and um, it ended badly. I crashed it. One of the arms on the Mavic Air like flipped back, like a way that it's not supposed to go, and I was able to pop it back into place, like popping a shoulder back into its socket, and I hope it's okay. Um, I also cracked one of the propeller blades, so replaced that and recalibrated the IMU. Um, so I haven't taken it out to make sure it works again yet, but um, lesson learned. Flying indoors, should probably put the propeller guards on at least. I'm trying something new to sell stuff that I don't need anymore, like this igloo cooler right here. You know, perfect for the uh, summer beach event. Um, yeah, I guess you could leave a comment below if you want it. Uh, but I've, I'm just like taking Instagram stories of the items. Like, we have got all this, all this stuff. All this uh, luggage and stuff, and there's really only two of us, so why do we need like 10 suitcases? So, we'll be putting those up on the, the Instagram stories, and hopefully, someone will, will buy them from there. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I mean, we just simply have too much stuff, and I, I strive for minimalism, but sometimes it's just really hard. You just accumulate things, and you need them for one project, and then you don't need them, but you don't get rid of them, so you just store them away. When you've got a small apartment like this, there is not much room for storage. We only have the bedroom closet. Um, and that's pretty small. This is kind of what we've come up with for the living room. This rack right there, which, I mean, is pretty good, but still, like, what's in all of these things? Like, why do we need, like, like what are, what is this, all this stuff? Why, why do we need it? Um, so, that's what I'm trying to figure out today. What can I get rid of? What haven't I used in the last six months? If I haven't touched something for six months, maybe six months is unfair because that's like summer. So I'm sure there might be some summery items, but okay, so let's say if I haven't used it in the last nine months, then I gotta get rid of it. There's no, no use in keeping something around that hasn't been used for almost a year. So 
So right now I'm reading this book. I just got it last Tuesday. This is uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler's new book, Drinking Distilled, a user's manual. Um, talks all about like how to drink well. Um, so I would highly recommend this to, to everyone, especially if you're in the, the spirits or you know hospitality, food and beverage industry but uh, also to folks that aren't and who um, admittedly probably know a lot less than people that are. And I think this would be really helpful giving you some clues uh, and, and tips about, you know, what the differences between different spirits, like how to decide what you want to drink, when to drink certain things and not others, and to just sort of like up your drinking game and not just, I don't know, order vodka sodas because that's kind of a silly drink, I think. In addition to this book, I've got these other um, bar related books. You know, I've got the Jimmy Hands Bartender Manual, How to Make Bitters, All About Coffee, Liquid Intelligence, Flavor Bible, Cocktail Manual from USBG, which I don't really like, but. Um, I'm gonna take all those to work, put them behind the bar. Kind of start a nice little library at the bar. Some nice reference material for the bartenders. Also maybe guests wanna look at it. Also have the Smuggler's Cove, which is my probably my favorite tiki bar in San Francisco. Um, they put out a book a year or two ago that is coming in the mail today. I've, you know, Put it off too long, so I decided to bring that one in. I'll add that to the collection as well. I'd love to make sort of a an apartment tour video at some point, but it's just too messy right now. I don't want to show you what it what it looks like, um, but. I think there are some interesting tips to be gleaned and like small space living for any of you that are in kind of smaller apartments, you know, such as the bike rack um, and just some sort of smaller multi-use, multi-functional furniture pieces that we have, as well as artwork. I'm gonna end this video because it's super random and I just need to put something out because it's been too long and two weeks. I don't know, it's, I swear, I swear I'm gonna get better at this. But uh, that's all for now.